Hello viewers, how are you doing? I am Jitendra Jurasya, welcome you to my channel The Office Guys Tutorial. Before we jump directly to the tutorial, I would like to thank all of you for showing interest in my videos. Please don't mind hitting that red subscribe button and turn it grey. So without any further delay, let's start the tutorial. So today we are going to see how we can design a flyer for a construction company in just PowerPoint. So here on the screen you can see how using PowerPoint I have designed this flyer. I'll just quickly show you in the slideshow mode how it looks. So this is what we are going to design today. So without any further delay, let's start. For the convenience of the viewers, I have split this video into three parts. The first part is page setup, second one designing the flyer and the third one preparing the flyer for printing purpose. Part one, page setup. So in order to start designing, let's take a new document, control N. So I'll come to design tab. I'll take slide size and I'll come to the custom slide size. Now if you can notice that you have a number of options here but you have to choose a flyer dimensions of your requirement. I'm going to take a A4 paper for the present flyer design. So I'll click on A4 paper. I'll choose it to be a portrait. It's all you wish. If you want landscape, you can take a landscape also. I'll click OK. You can choose any of the option, not a problem. I'll click maximize. I'll right click here on the slide, come to the layout option and change it to blank. So we don't want anything to be here. So with this, our part one is done, which is page setup. Now we'll come to the part two, which says designing. So we'll come to the blank presentation we have taken now. Come to the insert picture. And you can see I have downloaded this PNG file, which is a page torn. I'll just quickly preview this open so you can see it's a uh, it's page torn so the link is given in the description box you can go and uh, go and download this image it's available for free so I'll just click insert so you can see you have two images here what we are going to do we're going to use only one so select the image and come to the format option come to crop and just crop the first one means I, we need only this part okay and make sure you just clean up the edges a bit click crop now I'll rotate it press shift and come to this rotation icon so you can make almost like 10 or 15 degree rotation so like this and I'll keep it somewhere here now you can see this much part is going above so what I'm going to do I'll just crop this yes and again I'll stretch it so here we go first part is done so now we are going to insert this image but if you notice this image is not just simple image it, it is it is in some shape so what I'm going to do under home icon come to drawing tab and choose under the block arrows, choose pentagon. Just click and stretch it. And you can see this rotation icon. Again, press shift and rotate. You'll get a perfect rotation. And I'll place it somewhere here. I'll just reduce this a bit. So I want it to cover this at least. And again, I'll stretch it. This looks fine to me. I'll reduce this a bit. And here we go okay so what I do now I'll just click send to back and make sure this edges are right fine okay you can just give a minor adjustment now right click on the blue the shape the pentagon shape which you have taken right click there format shape fill picture I'm already getting one in case you don't get what you need to do come to insert from a file and you choose the image the image I have downloaded from a website called unsplash.com this image is also available for free so you can go and download the link is given in the description box so I'll click insert and here we got the image now you can see since we rotated the shape the image also came in that way so what we're going to do we just uncheck this option called rotate with the shape with this we got the image so you can see this image looks a little stretched in horizontal direction so what I'm going to do I'm going to adjust 
a bit i'll stretch this in the vertical direction so that it looks fine yeah so i'm i'm happy with this result make sure when you click on this image the pentagon we created shape outline make sure you don't have any outline here i think later there is a little bit of adjustment issue here so what i'm going to do i'm going to stretch the image a bit here and this also to the page margin so here we go so we are done with this now now let me see what else is left so now we are left with this design here how to make this is pretty easy i will just select this again control c and v again so we'll get a duplicate of this right click again come to format options and make sure you make it no fill and come to the line option here and give a solid line choose a color for now i have taken this red dark red color and make sure you give a width of around 20 or so 20 i think 25 will be better now make sure you place it somewhere around here exactly on the same position somewhere here and send it to back so don't worry about this anything after this in the gray region on the both side will not be printed so no need to worry i'll just quickly show you the preview so this is what we got till now okay so what is next here is this rectangle here so i'll take a so in the drawing tab i'll take a rectangle i'll press the shift and drag a very small rectangle i'll click on that come to the format option and i will give almost like a half inch like uh, margin which is comes around to be 1.25 roughly 1.25 and I'll place it here on the corner. Just I'll make shape outline to be no outline. And I'll zoom in here. I'll just make sure it's there. If you're not able to do what you can do, format. Select this, come to format, align to the left, align to the top. So you'll get the position directly here. I'll press Ctrl D to make a duplicate of that. And I'll keep it in the last. So if you are not able to place it perfectly, what you need to do you need to follow the same trick which i told you select the image or the object come to align make sure you align it to right and then align it to bottom we're going to again select this rectangle press ctrl d now just carefully place it here okay stretch this up to this nice now delete this to so rectangle we are drawn first come to shape fill make sure you select no fill and shape outline you give a red color with the outline value of six if i show you the preview it looks something like this i think the thickness of this line looks more so what i'm going to do i'll just reduce it to around four or yeah three looks good to me so now we are left I'll just quickly do Ctrl Z so that we'll come back to the actual design. Yeah. So now if you see, uh, I have made some construction logo here. Just I'll show you how I made this. So I'll take a new slide. I'll take a text box. And the font which I have used for that company is a random name company, some ABC name I took. It's called Rockwell. Extra Rockwell. Extra Bold. Uh, let me give a name called ABC and I'll just give a big size of around 88 I will center align it come to format options and just align it to center okay let me give a color red I'll choose another text box and I'll just write constructions I'll select the text and give it a font called Roboto black and I'll give you size to be around 28. I'll just place it here. Make sure the text is also center lined. Nice. Now I'll take a line from here. I'll draw the line. Come to the shape outline. I'll give the line black color. And wait to be around, uh, I think three, four looks fine to me, four and a half. And again, I control drag it. Keep it here. 
I think this this three part they look too close to ABC so I'll just push, push it down a little bit done now if you notice here we have something called registered also just to give a branded feeling so I'll take another text box and I'll come to insert symbol and you can see here you have an R symbol here and press insert I'll increase the text size and also change the text to the red color and just place it over here so here we go guys our logo is ready I'll just copy the logo control C or I'll just first group it control G then I control C to copy it and when you're pasting it just right click and paste as a picture so now it's a picture you cannot edit it anymore so I'll just press control X and place the image over here and resize it a bit this much looks fine to me okay now just let me take quickly this just to save the time for tutorial I'll just quickly take this text these are simple text boxes so control C and control V this text box also I'll copy and paste here now this QR code these are very easy to build this QR code the user which are going to see your brochure or the flower can use his smartphone to directly come to your website so you can come to any browser and you can type QR code generator and you just come to any link these are free to download and you want a URL to be there or you want a contact it's all your wish let me see just www.abc.com and you can just do save a PNG or SVG it's all up to you and save it save choose a preferred location I'm saving in my current folder and then you can come to insert picture and you can see the QR code is here and you can just place it over here so next how I made this thing so I took a rectangle just place in center so you can see if you're not able to do you have to follow the same align and center it then again come to shape fill no fill and shape outline give a red outline with a decent weight I'll go with three okay now here you can see you have a phone number here so for that I'll take one more text box I'll design uh, I'll put it over here this time I'm going to fill a red color in that and in the shape outline I'm going to white give a white color with a broad six points so that we'll get these empty edges here I'll just place in center and I'll take the text box I'll just quickly copy from here control C control V and make sure change the text to white and you can write call us now so nine eight seven six five four three two one I'll just enlarge the size a bit and make sure this text is center aligned format align to center I think this box also is not center aligned just let me quickly align this in center yeah so now I'm going to show you how I added these three text here so first come to the drawing tab take this oval shape press shift and drag to get a perfect circle make sure the shape fill is set to red and the shape outline is set to no outline now just for the now I'll take a text box or you can simply take this text box the existing text box and change its text to black and reduce its size and make it left aligned okay now copy this and paste it two times first here and then again we'll adjust this little bit a little bit later okay now make sure you select everything 
and make sure they are all aligned. So come to the format option, align, align to distribute horizontally and distribute vertically. So now they are all aligned. Now you'll come to the insert option, insert icons, and I will choose any three as of now for the part of tutorial, I will take any three icons. So randomly I will take three icons and I'll click insert. So here we got the icons. I'll just change this color of this icons, the fill color to be white and I'll place it exactly in the center. Our second part is done, which is called the designing part. Now, in case you are happy with the design and you want to take it further for printing. So now we are going to start third part, which is preparing for printing. For that, come to file, come to save as option, choose the required folder and make sure you choose it to be as a PDF. Here is a PDF. Now we'll come to the option tab and I want only to print the first slide. Okay. If you see carefully here, I'll just quickly show you the second slide is a logo. We don't want to print that. We want to print only the first slide. So I'll come to file, save as, choose the desired folder, change it to PDF, come to the option slide, or you can directly choose the current slide. So which I'm not sure what is my current slide. So I am just choosing slide one to one. Okay. Press okay. Give a desired name and click save and here we go our flyer is ready to print so guys that's all for today thanks for watching the video do check out my other tutorials on powerpoint you will definitely love them thanks for watching see you in the next video